Well, hello, I'm Render Tom, and this is a quick demo video for Adobe Illustrator script Slice It Up. Once you install the script to appropriate location, you can access it via File, Scripts, Slice It Up, and this nice little window will pop up. Now, before I go and explain you how it works, let me do a quick changes here, like this. All right, so we have a preview checkbox that enables or disables the live preview. Easy. Number of slices defines how many slices you will have after slicing is done. Minimum slider value is 2 and maximum is 10. But you can manually enter any value that you want. Like this. Alright. Y offset linear moves slices and Y direction. Like this. Y offset random moves slices in Y direction as well. But introduces some randomness. If I'm not happy with the randomness right here, I can always regenerate them with this button like this, poof, 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 awesome. X shuffle linear moves slices in X direction and X shuffle random moves them in X as well but with some randomness, poof, 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 awesome. Angle defines the angle of the slices, 45 is awesome, thank you. And expansion, it shrinks or it expands the mask like this. Awesome. Let's leave it at something like, let's say, 3. Container mode. Let me explain it a little bit later. By default, all slices are equal width, but in case we want to have them random, that's the button. Poof. 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 If you want slices to be equal width, then that's the button. And if you want them random, that's the button. Alright, so that's the way you slice it up. Once the slicing is finished, you will find a group item that contains all your slices. Like this. And each slice contains a clipping mask and the actual layer that you are slicing. While this is all nice and dandy, I recommend you select that group and go to Window, Pathfinder and either choose Trim option or Merge option. Like this. This way we end up with some nice and clean a hierarchy. Okay, let's take a minute to talk about the container mode. There are four possible options that you can see. Let's choose a square one for now and see how it works. Everything looks almost okay except for the first and the last slices that are not entirely filled with our content. Also, if we change the angle to 90 degrees, we're only seeing four slices instead of 10 as we have them here. This is because under the hood Illustrator is generating those slices but we just don't get any visual. If we change the angle like this, well, you can see that we have those slices and they are there. All right, let's take a look at circle mode. At zero degrees, everything looks perfect, but when we change the angle to 90 degrees, well, it doesn't look any better than the square mode. Also, if we change the angle to some other value, we are getting some clippings. Well, right there in the corner, right there, uh, on this angle, well, it comes right there and right there. So you would use circle mode only if you are slicing the circle. If you have some other shapes like this one, you would definitely go with a square mode, okay? Vertical mode, slices your layer vertically. You can move those slices in Y direction and X direction. And you cannot use any angles right here. And same goes for the horizontal mode, except this time your layer is sliced horizontally, like this. So that's it guys, thank you for watching, cheers!